So how do we create a password manager in Python? I'm WJ Pierce for CyberGrade and today we're going to be looking at exactly how we do that. This is one video in a playlist of cybersecurity Python videos. So if you haven't checked out the other ones, go back and watch them. It's going to give you a good base foundational knowledge of how we can use Python in cybersecurity. So let's get started. We've got this empty Python file here in Visual Studio Code, which I've just called python-passman. Then we've got the entire script pre-built here, and we're gonna bring it into this empty file section by section, explaining it as we go. Believe me, it's a much quicker way than watching me type. So first part of it, we've got the two import statements, which are gonna give us the functionality to encrypt our string and then hide our string, which is our password and our username in this case. We've then got a password manager empty dictionary, and this is gonna be used to store the key value pairs of the username and the password. Just gonna extend this a little bit here as well so you can see the code a little bit easier. So the next function we're gonna bring in is the create account function. Now this create account function is gonna ask the user to enter a username. It's then gonna ask them to enter a password. It's then gonna use the get pass library to hide that password from the user or anyone else that's looking. It's then gonna take the password and use the hashlib library to hash that password using the SHA-256 algorithm. It's then gonna store that username and the hash password in this password manager dictionary as a key value pair. It's then gonna print account created successfully. The next function we need to grab is this login function. Now this is pretty similar to the create account function. Uh, this will sort of make more sense in a moment once we see the third function, but the script is ultimately gonna ask the user, do they want to create account or log in? And depending on which one they select, it's gonna start with which function first. So it's either gonna be a create account or a login. So as I said, it's pretty similar. So it's gonna ask the user for a username. It's gonna ask the user for their password but we've then got an if statement that basically says, does the username and this hash password that I've been given match a key value pair in this dictionary that I've got stored here called password manager? So the last thing we need is effectively a menu, a way to pick either function one or function two. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna grab our main function and I'll explain why it's called main, not login or menu or anything like that in just a second. So this main function is basically a while loop and a while loop's default state is true until it's given a break statement. So in this case, the while loop is true. So while this is true, I want you to prompt the user for either choice one or choice two or choice zero, which will break the loop and give them invalid choice. So choice zero could be anything that isn't one or two. It doesn't have to be zero. The last piece of the puzzle and the last few lines of code that we need are this if main equals main statement. Basically, this is just a way for you to take this whole script and import it into another Python script as a library without needing to reorder your functions. It's basically going to tell Python which order it wants you to run its functions. It's known as a Python idiom, and that's not a perfect explanation. And it does a little bit more than what I've just explained. But in our case, it's just going to order the functions in the way that we want to run them, running this main function here first, as it's the login screen. So if you're still around, hopefully you are, we're now going to run this and we're just going to hit terminal, new terminal. We're going to make sure our script is saved by hitting control S on it. And we are then going to open a bash terminal because I hate PowerShell. And we're going to navigate to the desktop. And we are going to run Python. And there we go. You can see it's asking for a choice. So enter one to create account or two to log in. So we'll do create account and we'll call our account WJ Pierce. And I'll make my password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just for explanation purposes. Obviously you should never make your password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't even know if websites will let you do that anymore, to be honest. Uh, and then we're gonna log in. So we want WJ Pierce. And then we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's gonna say login successful. Uh, or we can hit zero to exit, or we can run the script again and we can hit four and it's gonna say invalid choice. So there we have it, a very rudimentary basic password manager that you can use in your cybersecurity studies or as just a fun little hobbyist project. So if you've enjoyed that, I will see you in the next one and thanks for making it this far.